Have you guys ever wondered what travel trailers look like in Europe? Well, today we are at the Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf, Germany, and we're gonna be showing you some of the coolest towable units that they have here on display. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're Will and Jen, and we make videos all about RVing and showing you guys our life traveling. So if you're interested in videos like that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And again, today we are at the Dusseldorf Germany show. It's the, called the Caravan Salon, and it's actually the biggest RV show in the world. So we've been wanting to, to go to the show for a couple of years now, and this summer we finally made the trip over here. It's such a cool show. There's so many unique things that you don't see in the United States. So we're really excited to bring that to you guys because it is difficult to get here and see all this stuff. So hopefully we can show you guys some things that you've never seen before. So today's video is going to be focused on travel trailers. They don't really have fifth wheels here, so it's going to be more of like large travel trailers and some teardrops. Uh, but we will have more videos coming out in the next couple of weeks showing you guys some of the cool motorhomes because there's quite a bit more motorhomes here than towables. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But we are going to jump over to the first travel trailer. So the first one that we took a look at was the Ariba Touring 820 was the floor plan. So, yeah. These are like luxury travel trailers. I got a lot of a uh, Airstream vibe oh, just yeah. because the outside has that like silver metallic look and just like the modern finishes inside really remind me of the Airstreams. So I think what I really liked about it is the big dinette seating area in the front. And I didn't even look if you could make it a bed. I think so. But though. yeah, the table yeah. I believe drops down and you can make it a bed. But even without that, you have the bed in the back and then you have tons of area to sit in the front. For me, it was really the cabinetry that I liked, I think. There were so many like unique ways that they did it to mm -hmm. fill every like little nook and cranny. And I thought they did good in the States, but I feel like they did even better here, so. Well, something you learn when you come to Europe, like that I've already experienced on our trip here, is that in America, we're used to everything being bigger. Like yeah. the houses are bigger, the RVs are bigger. And so you find in Europe, up with the RVs and the houses and apartments and that the cars and everything and the cars everything's smaller but they're very intentional about how mm -hmm. they use the space so that yeah I agree I really mm -hmm. like that and I'll show you guys too that they did a pass-through storage right. on the exterior so there's actually tons of exterior storage space and I assume you could probably add a little bike rack and everything but yeah this one was really cool it was it really was yeah So this was an Ariba Touring 542 Urban. Again, like we mentioned earlier, travel trailers, everything here in Europe is a lot smaller, but what's really common to see is the pop-ups or the pop tops, I should say. It's a little bit of a newer thing in the States, but I think that they've pretty much mastered it here. Now this one just had a, um, a short little pop up just to give you enough head height, but some of them have like full beds and everything up in those pop ups. So it's really, really cool. The other thing I really liked about this one was that outside room. For me, camping is all about getting outside and enjoying nature and the fresh air. And to have that nice little tent where we could have the dogs in there, hang out, have some dinner without getting attacked by the mosquitoes. I would love to have something like that on our RV. Real quick, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Whether we're in an RV or traveling the globe, one thing that is always top of mind for us is our online security. Our favorite tool for doing this is Aura. Aura is an all-in-one security software that protects your personal information and passwords, gives you a secure private internet connection, monitors for credit and identity theft, and so much more. I like to look at it as our fancy online bodyguard. Anyone can find anything on the internet, and that includes your full legal name, your email address, home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to telemarketers and spammers. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. On top of that, Aura's app features a VPN, which we use anytime we join a public Wi-Fi network, like at hotels or at campgrounds, and this secures our connection and protects our devices. It also has a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and malware protection. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Use our link down below or scan this QR code to start your free two-week trial of Aura and start protecting yourself online. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the Dusseldorf RV show.
We found a fifth wheel, which I was not expecting at all. And um, a little section with maybe four fifth wheels. And again, I didn't think there were gonna be any here. I haven't seen any others. And it's really cool. It's kind of a similar layout to ones in the US when you say, Jen, yeah. north to south bed in the front, slide out in your living area. Probably similar to like um, a half ton towable version or a 150 series that you would see in the States. And then in the back, you got a nice entertainment area, uh, couch, dinette, and all that. They were towing it with this Volkswagen. Now everything, I, I can't read it, so I don't know the specs, but based off of what I'm seeing, I don't think that this truck is, you know, the best towing <laughs> uh, equipment for that. They did have some signs saying that they had connections to get like an F-150 or a Ram 1500, Silverado 1500, which would probably be more accurate, but again, obviously, you know, you have to check your numbers. Well, and something I think is interesting is we're still getting that real clean mm -hmm. molded fiberglass look that you see on almost everything here. And this, like, yeah, that's really unique. My thought is like, because this, this doesn't come down as far as it would in right. the US, probably because it's such a short bed truck. Mm. And so the turning radius, um, you know, with that, it can't come down as far or you would, hit it on your back window there. Yeah. So so it's kind of like different looking, but I'm so glad we found a fifth wheel. Yeah. I do not think we're gonna see that <laughs> no, here. No, not at all. I haven't seen one on the roads at all either. No. <laughs> I don't. I still don't think I'd want one here to yeah, drive around. I don't around. think so. <laughs> so this travel trailer was a little more hidden, not as many people, so we can actually talk inside of it. And Jen, I actually feel like this is something we could make work oh, for yeah. like a Will and Jen Europe's edition, maybe for like six months or something. Yeah. Traveling around Europe. This is called the Exquisite VIP. Like, oh, okay. I like the name. And it feels like a yacht inside. It really does. So you got a nice dinette and like, look at this plush. Oh yeah. It's you know, really, like really everything's plush. really nice. Looks like a queen size bed, which, you know, we'd have to make work here. Behind you is a huge U-shaped dinette, which I yeah, love. Yeah, I mean, you could fit freaking the whole gang you here. You could. And then what I really like is, like, this is a really bad bathroom for the States, but this is probably like one of the best that you'll find in, in Europe. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Great, like pretty good toilet placement, decent sized shower. Again, everything I could make work, even given my fat American size. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've been saying the whole trip, like yeah. all the years we're like fat domestic. We were riding on a little trolley thing and he said, what did he keep, keep saying? Heavy. Two? Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. heavy. Cause the battery was dying. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, really nice. It is, so. yeah. I just like how open it feels. Still no slides. Yeah, but so it that's, feels comfortable. we haven't really seen many um, RVs here with yeah. slides. There was um, like, I saw I think two motorhomes in another mm -hmm. building. So we'll check those out. We'll show you guys later. But most of the time they don't want slides at all. Yeah. So. All right, let's see what else is out there. Cool. So this travel trailer behind me has to be one of the coolest I've seen all day. The brand is called Adria, and it honestly looks a little bit more of like a destination trailer just based on the shape of it. And there are actually two exterior doors that are, I think like double French doors or a sliding door, and you can put the, uh, like it has like a screen attachment if you just want to close the screen. And the inside is really cool, kind of like a, like modern, a little bit dark um, interior design look with accent lights. So this just was really a showstopper that caught my eye. And from what I was trying to gather from the screen, talking about it, everything here is in German. So it's a little bit challenging to get the details, but it looks like it's kind of like a smart trailer. Like a lot of the stuff inside you can control from your phone. So this is just really cool. Again, I don't think it's for like moving around a lot, but really neat travel trailer. So we were passing by these travel trailers and I thought they looked really cool on the outside. So this travel trailer, the brand is called La Mancelle and this is the Liberty model. So they did a really cool job on the exterior and they have decals that kind of have it look like it has wood accents on the outside. But one detail that's really interesting is on the front, they had this huge front windshield that actually pops up so you can get some airflow in here. And then there's a big kind of U-shaped dinette up here. I assume this could probably become some sort of a bed, I would think. Um, but if not, you get a lot of seating space up here and it's really comfortable. It has that, you know, Airstream modern design, but honestly, everything here at the show has that, okay, you know, like the kind of interior you get with Airstreams and some of the like more modern class Bs. That's kind of like what everything looks like here. So I think we've definitely pulled some influences from Europe for the design of some of those. Um, but yeah, this one's really cool. You got a bed in the back. 
in this u-shaped dinette up here and i just kind of love the accents and i think this front windshield thing is really creative So real quick, I just want to show how cool this display is. So this brand is called Beachy and everything is Beachy themed. They actually made their whole display have like sand on the floor. So, and they have hammocks and little grasses. Like they did a really good job on this display. And the, the interior design of the inside of the trailers definitely like brings that beachy feel. So the one we looked at, um, it actually is kind of an interesting design because there's no real bathroom in it. It more just has like a ton of like seating dinette space for people to just like hang out. It has a little sink and like some closet space. So, and I'm sure you can make the dinette area into a bed and sleep there, but it's more to hang out probably outside at the beach. So I just want to show this brand because I thought they were did kind of a really cute job on their RVs and their display here at the show. All right, guys, that wraps up some of our favorite towable RVs at the Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf, Germany. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and comment down below and let us know which RV you like the best. Also, we are thinking about hitting the show again next year, so let us know what you like seeing and what you might want to see more of. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on Sunday.